Happy Tuesday, and more importantly, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm not even sure you can see this, but I did want to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. And then, you know, I feel like everyone should take note and just make fun of my cleat clovers that more look like broccoli or funny looking trees. So, nonetheless, this is Lacey's artwork is still in a bad space. Anyway, welcome to your new normal. We are going to be doing YouTube videos um, for a while. Who knows what, what's going to happen. Um, what you need to know is I have no idea what I'm doing. This is probably the sixth time I've done this today, and hopefully this will be my video that I finally post. Nonetheless, I sent communication to your parents. I want you to know I sent them an email with these links or with this information, most of this information. Probably the most important thing you need to know is every day I'm going to do my best to post a YouTube video talking about different things that we can be doing in the classroom, except your classroom is now your house. Um, um, I also am going to be putting different materials down at the school cafeteria. There's going to be a table out front. You don't even have to get out of your car. There will be somebody out there handing out packets. I think the district will send communication as to what time of day they'll be out there. But nonetheless, I've already done that for this week. There's a week's worth of work-ish. Um, and it's, it's all there. It's just, you know, for your convenience to help make sure you hang on to everything you've learned this year. So you can do really well next year in the sixth grade. I would love it if you would continue to do your reading summaries. Just keep doing them. You've all got your language arts journals um, that, you, that I handed out on Friday. You've all got your, your, your language arts books that um, you took home on Friday, and you all got your math books as well, your big and your small. So hopefully you'll be able to access all those things um, as well as the handouts I gave you that will be at the school. Um, I'm going to try and do this every day um, just to kind of keep us all a little bit from going stir crazy. Um, I will be available via email from 8 to 2.30 every single day, Monday through Friday. So please be aware, I'm more than happy to communicate with you, and I would love your emails because I'm getting a little bored here at the house. Also, conferences are all going to be via phone, um, and they're all going on just as they have been planned. However, I am available during those teaching hours. If your parents would like to switch up their conference, please be aware they can email me and we can see what we can do to switch it. It's going to be a little confusing trying to send out a whole nother sign-up genius to have them. Um, change their date. So individually, I'll take it base by base, case by case. If you guys want to switch your times, just be aware that I'm more than happy to try and do the best I can to accommodate that, including today. I mean, I'm free the rest of the day um, if I ever get this video posted and um, more than happy to switch up if parents want to meet with me during the day. I've got all my supplies here at home and um, I, I'm, I live close to school. So if I need something, I'm more than happy to come up and, um, and bring that and get that. So that's the deal as far as information I wanted to share with you. Um, as far as language arts, I really would love it if you sent me your stories on the brush fire. You were in the midst of completing your research and beginning to work on your, um, on your own play. So please send those via Google Doc. I want to see them. I'd love to see them. Give you feedback. Um, we are going to pick up right with the next story by uh, Jack London, The Law of the Club and Fang. It's a great, great story. It's out of, this is an excerpt from the book, Call of the Wild. And I think I have some books at school. I'm going to take those down to the pickup point. And if you'd like one, just ask. I'll do the best I can to have as many available. I feel like I have a bunch. So if I don't, we'll deal with it. If I do, feel free to take one. Um, in the meantime, you're going to see in your packet, there's lots of different worksheets. Number one, just like we've done all year, we're going to look for um, key events and summaries. So I'd like you to go through this story and, and write the key events. Get about halfway through, do the key events and do a summary. Then do the rest of the story, key events and summary. There's a lot of different vocab in here that you probably don't know. As we've done all year, continue to circle words you don't know and do the best you can to use context clues to identify what those words mean based on the context clues. In, in the packet, you'll see there's different worksheets that ask you to look up certain words. If there's a little parentheses next to it, that means that's the paragraph. This is the story it's referring to, okay? In math, this is exactly the same stuff we've been doing all year, 
division, and we're doing the division powers of 10. We've been doing division all year. Hopefully this is gonna to continue to be a good solid refresher um, as to how do we do division. And then applying all those things we've done um, instead of powers of 10 when we're multiplying, we're now dividing powers of 10. So we're gonna pick up on 5-2. Just about all of you had done 5-1 and 5-2. Let's just keep moving. Let's do the big book, let's do the small book. Let's do the big book, let's do the small book. This luckily is a solid review. We've been doing these things all year long from probably the second week of school. So let's just make sure we don't lose all this great stuff we've learned all year. The worksheet, the math worksheet that you'll see in the packet is, again, it's really still review. I gave you the answer key. It's just exactly like the, um, the, math, the morning work. You do the math work, you check the math work, you ask questions right based on what you missed, okay? So this is really, we're just hoping to make sure you don't lose anything we're on while we're on this kind of weird, funky time of our lives. And um, hopefully we're all staying safe and healthy. I miss you. I cannot wait for you to come back to school. Please stay safe. Please have fun. Please do your schoolwork. And don't lose all your wonderful knowledge you've gained all year. All right, take care. Be good. I miss you. Can't wait to see you. I'll look forward to seeing you.